trilogy if you see it back to back. Yeah. Really well, that's good. Yeah. Thunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Pam, it's Michael. Help me. I need help right now. Michael, what's wrong? I'm hurt. I have hurt myself. Oh my god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is not looking good, Pam. Michael, do you need me to call an ambulance? No, I want you to pick me up. Okay. Oh, oh, wait a sec. I thought you said that you were hurt. I am hurt. I hurt I'm my sorry. foot. Pam. I want to come to work, Pam. but I need you to come and pick me up. No, God. Hey, whoa, Michael. Oh god. It's okay. It's oh. Jim. Just say again really loudly uh, what happened. Okay. I burned my foot very badly on my foreman grill, and I now need someone to come and bring me into work. You burned your foot on a foreman grill. I enjoy having breakfast in bed. I like waking up to the smell of bacon. Sue me. And since I don't have a butler, I have to do it myself. So most nights before I go to bed, I will lay six strips of bacon out on my George Foreman grill. Then I go to sleep. When I wake up, I plug in the grill. I go back to sleep again. Then I wake up to the smell of crackling bacon. It is delicious. It's good for me. It's a perfect way to start the day. Today, I got up, I stepped onto the grill, and it clamped down on my foot. That's it. I don't see what's so hard to believe about that. Pam, could you come get me? Uh, I have to stay here and answer the phone. Okay, could someone come and get me, please, Ryan? Michael, you should stay home and rest. There's no toilet paper here. Could Ryan tell Ryan to bring toilet paper? Could you tell him that? Can you hop? I tried hopping, Kevin, and I bumped my elbow against the wall, and now my elbow has a protuberance. No one wants to pick me up? What is going on? What is going on? I'm Michael is um, sick, and he wants one of us to rescue him. I'm not sick. I'm, I'm sick. coming, Michael. Oh. I'm going to save you. Oh, Michael is in trouble. I do not want okay. to Hold on, Michael. I am coming. Wait I there. Dwight. Michael, why don't you call your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. But you said you went out with her this weekend. It was all made up. Just someone come, okay? Anyone. Anyone but Dwight. Oh, oh, he hit the pole. It's broken, right? He can't. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Dwight. Dwight. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my, my gosh. God. Is he okay? He's still driving. Dwight, you forgot your bumper. Hello? Please don't send Dwight. Kind of blurry. That's better. Question What kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact Bears eat beets. Oh. Bears beets. Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not. What is going on? What are you doing? Last week, I was in a drugstore and I saw these glasses, uh, $4. And it only cost me $7 to recreate the rest of the ensemble, and that's a grand total of $11. You know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! And the same thing goes for quarterly reports. They are unreadable. They're just numbers and boring and black. So what I was thinking is that maybe we should have some sort of graphic, like if we have a bad quarter, put in a storm cloud. And when we have a good quarter, fireworks or a race car. Doesn't have to be a race car. Use your imagination. There's this cube on the screen. It bounces around all day, and sometimes it looks like it's heading right into the corner of the screen, and then at the last minute it hits a wall and bounces away. And we are all just dying to see it go right into the corner. Pam claims that she saw it one day when she was alone in the conference room. Okay. <laughs> I believe she thinks she saw it. I saw it. I saw it, and it was amazing. Who said I didn't see it? Did Jim say that I didn't see it? I saw it. We have a lot of colored paper here. 
why, oh, why do we keep printing this on white? No, oh, come on! Yeah, I know. I know, it's bland. It's never gonna happen. Dude, Here's what I was thinking. you gotta believe. Maybe we could have some sort of riddle. Wait for it. Like something that you have to look for. Sort of a where's Waldo? Oh! <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, let's quit while we're ahead. That was so awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. Some days I am just on fire. Why can't I say? <laughs> At least once a year, I like to bring in some of my Kevin's famous chili. The trick is to undercook the onions. Everybody is going to get to know each other in the pot. I'm serious about this stuff. I'm up the night before, pressing garlic and dicing whole tomatoes. I toast my own ancho chilies. <laughs> It's a recipe passed down from Malone's for generations. It's probably the thing I do best. Parkour! Michael! Parkour! Parkour! Extreme! Parkour! Parkour! This is parkour. Internet sensation of 2004. And it was in one of the Bond films. Pretty impressive. The goal is to get from point A to point B as creatively as possible. So technically, they are doing parkour as long as point A is delusion and point B is the hospital. Ah! Ah! Okay, we all go together or we go one at a time. Here it is, here it is. Uh, truck to refrigerators to dumpster, 360 spin onto the palace, backflip gainer into the trash can. Yeah, gainer! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hardcore, parkour! Hardcore, parkour! parkour. I'm right Woo! behind you, Andy! Come Let's on! Do it. Yeah! Parkour. Beautiful morning at Dunder Mifflin. As I like to call it, Great Bratton. Keep it running. Do I love being manager? I love my kids. I love real estate. I love ceramics. I love my job. I, I love wrestling. Find out what language this is. Okay, team building. On this side of the room, Stanley, Phyllis, Jim, Ted, Elroy. And on this side of the room, Pam, Meredith, Phyllis, Creed. He never called a meeting. Bo body, Bo body. What does the first B stand for? What are we doing? We're making acronyms. Okay, what does the first B stand for? Um, business. I like it. Business, good, Kevin. All right, the O. We need a new manager. Hey, so this isn't matching up with this, and I'm not sure which one's right. Can you just hunt down the original for me? Yes, me do. All right. Hey, Kev, what were you saying before about the paperwork? Me do now. Go. Stop worry. Kevin, do you feel okay? Me feel good. Body strong. Sleep big last night. Yeah, I think we should get him to the hospital. Yeah, all right, Kevin, why don't you come with us? No, no, no he, guys. He's fine. he's fine. He's always been like that. No, he hasn't. I mean, he's gotten worse over the years. But... He's making a statement. It's an ironic comment on our expectations of him. A funhouse image of our model of Kevin. You keep think that. Me mechanic, not speak English. But he know what me mean when me say car no go. And we best friends. So me think, why waste time? Say lot word when few word do trick. Kevin, I appreciate what you're trying to do. Thank. Here, we have a word code. 
the same way we have a dress code. And what we're talking about is basically the speech equivalent to just wearing underpants. Sometimes words you know need use, but need need for talk talk. But save time, more success. Does it save time though? Because we've been here for about an hour. No me fault. Kevin, at most you're saving a microscopic amount of time. Many small time make big time. And what are you gonna do with all this time? See world. Kevin, you can't possibly save enough time to see the world. Ke Kevin, are you saying see the world or sea world? Sea world. Oceans, fish, jump, okay. China. No, see, right there, that's the problem with your method because I still don't know if you're saying sea world or see the world and it's taken a lot of time to explain it. Fine, fine, I'll talk normally. When me president, they see. They see. Morning, Dwight. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Jim. We've been working together for 12 years. Weird job, Dwight. You're not Jim. Jim's not Asian. You seriously never noticed? Hey, hats off to you for not seeing race. All right then, Jim, uh, why don't you tell me about that sale that you made yesterday? Uh, Wellington Systems sold them 10 cases of 24 pound letter stock. Or were you talking about Krieger Murphy because I didn't close that one yet, but I'm hoping I've got a voicemail from Paul Krieger waiting for me. Please enter your password. You have one new message. How did you know? No, no, no. That is sensitive information only for employees, not outsiders. Dwight, cut it out. I'm trying to work. You don't work here. You're not Jim. Jim, I got us that dinner reservation. Greek goes 7.30. Oh, great. Can't wait. Mm. Jim's at the dentist this morning, and Steve is an actor friend of ours. I don't know who you are, but you are not Jim. This is Jim. Hmm. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, how did... Oh.